Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over how you can add and create a trail sword effect in Unreal Engine. Quick disclaimer before we start, this video will show you how to create the particle effect. We'll be using a free one from the Unreal Engine marketplace. Also, if you want even more free Unreal Engine content, make sure to check out my free Unreal Engine beginner course. You can find a link to it in the description of the video. With that said, let's get into it. Hello, to get started, we first want to add sockets to our player character where we want our trail particle effects to spawn from. So if you just find your character's skeletal mesh and open it up. Right now my player character doesn't have a weapon, so I'm just gonna give them one. So if I look for my player character's hand R bone, I'm gonna right click and go add socket, double click on the socket, and I'll just call this my sword socket. And then I've imported a model of a sword. You can find loads of free models of swords on places like Sketchfab, or you can even use the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Okay, so I've now done that. The next thing we want to do is add two new sockets. The first socket is going to be where we want our trail to start from, and the second socket is going to be where we want our trail to end from. So I'm just going to find my character's right hand bone again, and we just want to select it, right click, and go add socket, and just call this the trail start socket. So I'm just going to work trail start, and then just position this at the start of um, your player character's sword. And then you just want to select the hand bone again, right click, and go add socket, and just call this the trail end socket and just position this at the end of your player character sword okay once you've done that you then just want to save this close this then go to your player characters attacking animations then go over to your animations folder and you're going to want to have some attacking animations if you don't i made a whole video about how to set up a combo system and i give you some free attacking animations in that video i'll make sure that video appears somewhere on the screen now so make sure you check that video out if you want to learn how to make a combo system. If you already have animations, that's fine. You're just going to want to click on each of the animations, right click and then go create and create an animation montage. Then you want to open up the animation montage. And then you just want to find the bit in the animation montage where you want the trail to start appearing from. And then just right click and then look for add notify state and then look for trail. This is automatically built into Unreal Engine as a notify state. Just select it. Then just basically expand this for how long you want your trail um, to basically last. I want my trail to last for all of this. So I'll just end it here. Then in order to get a free trail particle effect, open up the Epix Games Launcher. And then just go over to your library and create a new Unreal Engine project. Make sure it's empty and just call it Asset Dump. So I've already done this. I actually have two projects called Asset Dump. Then head over to the Unreal Engine Marketplace there's a free trail particle effect we can get, although it comes with loads of other assets. So if we look for Paragon, and we want this one, Paragon Quang, and just add him to your asset dump um, project. It's kind of big, so it's like 2.6 gig, and I only really want the trail particle effect from this pack, not the whole character. That's why we're creating the um, project called Asset Dump. Okay, once you've done that, look for trail. And here it is. So it should be called P underscore um, Quang Primary Trail. We actually want this one, but P underscore Quang Primary Trail. Once you found it, just right click on it and go Asset Actions, then Migrate. Select OK. And then find your project. So my project's called Combo. Um, and you just want to select the content folder, then go Select Folder. And it'll migrate that asset to your project. So now if I open up my um, original Unreal Engine project that I'm working in, and I'll just select the trail here. And if I go back to the animation montage, here under particle system template, let's select the P Quang trail. Then for the first socket name, we just want to look for the um, trail start socket that we named in our player character. And for the second socket name, we want to look for the trail end socket. And then you just want to copy this and save this and add this to all of your characters attacking animations. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so I've added the trail particle effect to my um, player character. The next thing I'm going to do is basically add the weapon to my player character. If you don't know how to do that, because depending on your level, you may not know, but you just want to go up to your third person character, go add, and look for your static mesh. Um, change the static mesh to be your sword weapon. Then just drag the static mesh into the mesh, so it's a child of this. Then go over to parent socket and look for the um, sword socket that you named. And just click these arrows, and the sword should be in the player character's hand. And then you also want to make sure that this has no collision. Okay, compile this, then save this, close this, and now if I play my game, 
I've already set it up so when my player character presses the left mouse button, they're going to cycle through all of their different attacking animations. If you'd like to learn how to make a system like this, I already made a video about how to make a combo system in Unreal Engine. I'll make sure it appears somewhere on the screen again now. But now when my player character is doing their attacking animations, we can see this nice sword trail. And if you'd like to learn how to do even more things in Unreal Engine, make sure to check out my free Unreal Engine beginner course. You can get a link to it in the description of this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.